Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Kevin Owasu Retoy and welcome to Teach Yourself Test Automation. I have this YouTube channel and I also have a WordPress website that goes with the same name, teachyourselftestautomation.com. Here we are empowering, inspiring, whatever you want to say, right? We are just giving each other a head, you know, a leg up, right? A leg up. Um, you know, to, to 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 move yourself, to level up, if you want to say level up career-wise or whatever, right? Just learn a new skill, develop a new skill, uh, level up yourself within your career, whatever you want to say, right? This is a place we do it, and we do it as test automation. Well, as testers, right? Test analysts, <laughs> right? We're moving from manual to test automation, right? That journey is still going on. Right, I paused for a while. I am back, and it's gonna go full steam ahead. This is also like a, a personal development goal, a personal development strategy, which this channel is part of. Right, so I'll put a link down below, and you could check that out on medium.com. Medium.com. Right, as I say, I am teaching myself um, test automation. Right, and for my loyal subscribers, they they know the journey already. But if you have just jumped on to, on this video, the last video I, was, I did was um, around cucumber um the cucumber framework the cucumber stand alone framework so cucumber gen unit right so i created a, 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 a step definition file i created a, a feature file and that had our test case it had a feature it had scenarios and it had our test steps right and i created a test runner now a test runner brings together your feature file and your test definition file and runs your test case right with that knowledge from the the feature file and the Test step definition, <laughs> step definition. I keep saying <laughs> test definition, step definition, right? But as I'm teaching myself, right, it's only me, and I know what I know, or I I don't know what I don't know, right? Whatever we want to look at it, right? So when when you're teaching yourself, you come across issues, right? And when you come across issues, you rely on Google, right? Google or YouTube. Right, because we're in YouTube, I use YouTube to troubleshoot my my uh, the issues I came across. I've just come across this one again, and I want to highlight it. Right, highlight it because uh, the when I googled on YouTube, those um, those videos took me down the wrong path. Right, it took me down the wrong path. I never solved the issue. Um, it might solve the issue in certain scenarios, but not in my scenario, right? So I'll just highlight that, right? And it's not until I talk to, talk to a friend and he gave me this, this um, he said, hang on, you just want to import a, a, import the package and you'll see what we're talking about, right? So um, what I've done here, I've, I've, I have, as I said, um, I am teaching myself Cucumber Framework, BDD, Cucumber BDD, right? So it's a Cucumber standalone framework, right? And I just imported uh, this package from, from GitHub. I, am, I imported that package from GitHub. I created my test, my feature file, my step definition file, and my uh, test runner class. And I, I ran the file and it ran successfully. I ran the test case and it ran successfully on the Cucumber framework, right? But then I've gone now to add another class and I want to bring a, a, a serenity knowledge, serenity, a, 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 well, I want to use the Serenity framework, right? So I want to use the Serenity framework, and I've created a class, a class file, and I'm, I'm just about to um, to set up my 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 um, my driver, right? So to set up the driver and then manage the driver to run my test cases, right? So I'm going to be using the Chrome Chrome driver, right? So I've done a, a web driver driver, so that initialize initial initializes your driver, the driver you're going to use, right? But I've got this red line underneath, right? So if you hover over this, it gives you various options. But the only option you don't see here is to import, to import the package, right? To import the driver package, right? So and you and then you see uh you see a, a message, a warning message up there, right? So I just copy this warning message as you will do, right? Because I don't know, I know what I know, or I don't know what I don't know, right? I'm teaching myself. So I just copied that and then let uh, YouTube be my guide, right? So I went onto YouTube and I pushed it, I, I pasted it in here. So it says web driver cannot be solved to a type, right? And I just hit enter. And I see all these useful videos here, right? All these useful videos. And most of the videos, what they are saying, I don't want to play any anyone's videos, right? Most of the videos, what, what they are saying is, 
your Selenium uh, jar files might be missing in a certain location in your right. So let me just show you what I mean. So if we right click here, hmm, right click on the project, sorry, and then go to uh, where's our build path? Build path, go to uh, config build path, right here. Here, most of those videos are saying here your serenity, your serenity jars might be missing, right? So to give this project some serenity knowledge, you need your, 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 your serenity jars, right? But this is a this is a, a project I call I, I I cloned from GitHub, right? So that should come not, um, normally with with that, right? So I've spent a day, you know, well, not a day because I only have one hour each day to work on on this project, right? So I spent an hour or two, so that's two days, so two hours, just trying to get my head around this, right? I'm adding my I'm adding my sel my selenium jars, but nothing is happening, right? So my friend just took took a look at it and said said if you hover over it, the option you want to select is change to web driver exception and it's org open qe selenium right and i clicked on that and that's not the option that's not the correct option so let's try let's keep going back it's option it was meant to be option 11 no option 7 right let's keep trying and that's what worked for me right so back we go and that's what worked for me well no no right this is it this is it one two three four option four right so change web driver that's the one right that's the one option four my mistake last time i did it was option seven but this time it went to option four and does it is imported the web, uh, serenity a uh, selenium web driver package right and and you're ready to go right you're ready to go so i am making this um this a, a, a video as a back video to all the other messages out there that i mean all that all those videos is out all those videos out there that are talking about getting your selenium selenium jars into the right location no if that doesn't work try this as well right just hover over a web driver and select the the um the option i just showed there right and it will import your serenity package right your sorry your selenium uh, web driver package so my name is kevin Owasuita. hopefully this was helpful helpful enough and uh, it solved a problem for you as it did for me i'll keep every video that i come across all the problems that i come across i'll keep posting right because i'm teaching myself and i'm coming across issues so i'm going to be, be, be uh, updating those issues right if this was useful to you consider subscribing uh, let's push each other along right Thank you. My name is Kevin Owens with Toy Stay Blessed. Don't rem remember, uh, subscribe and check my uh, personal development growth journey. It's a year project on um, medium.com. I will, I will leave, I will leave the, the link on, on, on the description below. Okay. Thank you. Stay blessed. Bye.